I guess when they uh, they said they wouldn't be doing it, Mr. Black, and by they, I mean 343 Industries. I think you'll, re- you'll probably remember one of the most famous quotes leading up to the release of, uh, of Halo Infinite was the only BR that's going to be in Halo is the battle rifle. Mm. Right? It's a, it's a solid quote, honestly. I got to give him props for that one. That was a well thought out. I don't know if that was off the dome. Or if somebody actually, like, thought of that line to put that shit out because it was, like, good, that's a good title for any article. Uh, either way, that was, uh, very specific. But what they must have meant is that they, specifically, 343 Industries, were not going to do anything with the Battle Royale because, as it turns out, Mr. Black, there's a Battle Royale. Or something resembling a Battle Royale that's not only in development, but it's been in development for two years! It's been doing it's been it's been in development by certain affinity who 343 has worked with on several occasions over the last decade more or less uh and they've been uh, they've been hashing this bad boy out it's intended to attract new people to the halo series and is targeting specifically warzone fortnite and apex players which sounds an awful lot like a battle royale to me uh, it's targeting a season three or four launch window and is rumored to be supporting Forge to some degree. So that would be similar to, I guess, th- some of what uh, Fortnite has had in the past within their um, with theirs, their creation mode. Uh, however, season three or four is actually not that far away. Season two is coming up in May. Uh, so we're looking at a, a launch window of what could be end of this year into uh, May of 2023. Uh, for that, which, <laughs> well, I get, I, I don't know. I, I'm okay. We when we talked about Halo Battle Royale on paper, it makes sense. In fact, it makes a disgusting amount of sense to do a battle royale within the Halo universe. The entire concept of like, of of the uh, of of several of the units on both sides of the field are they they're dropped in in pods from fucking orbit i mean it's literally perfect for this kind of an idea however is it by the time they get this bad boy out is it too late or do you think maybe perhaps that this will just completely overshadow infinite as a base game and just finish the job is this the old yeller in 2023 that puts infinite to rest and then takes up the charge for halo does halo just become a br like everything else uh or is it too late do you think do you think that's missing the boat uh not necessarily i mean it's going to go one of two ways. It's either, which I I think the first way is they're going to release it. It's going to bring a lot of people back to try it out. Hmm. Um, but just, just like a, your local Chinese all-you-can-eat restaurant that opens up, you got to go at least once, right? It's true. You got you to try it out. It's a new Chinese restaurant. I'm not really... A big Chinese food guy, but it's an all-you-can-eat Chinese restaurant. Maybe this is the one. Maybe you go there, you pay forty nine ninety nine, which is just ridiculous. But it's technically it was, all you can eat. It was twenty nine ninety nine, but inflation happened, <laughs> so now it's fifty bucks. And you go in there and you eat it, and you just end up eating rice and chicken balls, and they've got a shit ton of stuff in there. <laughs> They got beef and broccoli. They got chicken chow mein. They got dumplings. They've got beef fried rice, chicken fried rice, vegetable fried rice. They've got they, uh, kung they've got pao those, chicken. Those weird sweet and those weird sweet uh, ribs that are usually yeah. drier than the Sahara. Yeah, they're like yeah. drier than fuck. They're never actually yeah. like them things. They got those <laughs> there. They got egg rolls. They got they got veggie rolls in case you don't fucks with the meat type egg rolls they got everything (laughs) and you put a few of those things on there and you take a couple bites and like you said it's drier than a nun's cunt (laughs) i ain't into this honey garlic spare ribs and you just go down to your regular fried rice and some chicken balls with some of that pinkish reddish sauce (laughs) sweet and sour sauce that you put on there whatever that's made of i I actually still i still don't know what that's made of 
And it's honestly not the best rice and chicken balls you ever had, but it's safe. Mm. Ish. You know, it's fine. <laughs> and then you leave and you realize that you paid $50 to eat two things on a menu. And you could have just went to a regular Chinese place and ordered the same thing for t- 10 bucks. So what am I trying to say here? I think everybody's going to look at this like it's a new Chinese all-you-can-eat buffet. I'm, I got to try it out. <laughs> The the Fortnite players, the Apex players, the Call of Duty players, they're going to jump on over a free-to-play Battle Royale, which it better be free-to-play. There better not be forty nine ninety nine before you go into that bitch. There better, I guarantee it'll be free-to-play. The microtransactions, though, won't be. So you go in there, you play it, and then you realize, eh, I'm not really into Chinese food all that much. And it makes me feel bad. My stomach is salty. <laughs> you know, it's just not a good time. My asshole's on fire. And guess what? After one hour of playing the game, I'm hungry again. I'm going back to where I came from. That's what I think that's what's going to happen. I think there's going to be a massive spike. Massive. It's a battle royale. It's a buzzword. With Halo attached to it. With Halo attached to it, of all things. The people that are upset... About about a battle royale going into Halo, they're gonna try it out. Oh yeah, the people excited about a battle royale in Halo, they're gonna try it out. And then the ones that don't give a fuck about Halo at all, but it's a battle royale, so they gotta try it out. They're gonna try it out. And then I give it two weeks. <laughs> wow, wow. I, I give it two weeks. Okay. Right. And it's gonna go from peak viewer or peak players down to thirty percent after two fucking weeks. And then it's just going to be back to where we were. And then not only that, what you said, people aren't going to be playing regular Halo anymore. They're going to play this Battle Royale. And they're going to play this Battle Royale until there isn't really that many players and it becomes a pain in the ass to even queue up and play. And then the game dies. (laughs) So that's what I think is going to happen. The (laughs) other thing that could happen is it's a really good Battle Royale. And... Halo Infinite dies. It's, so no matter what, Halo Infinite dies. It's what we're getting oh, yeah. at here. It's, oh, yeah, no, it's dead. dead. Yeah, yeah, there's dead and deader, right? There's dead and then like... Slightly more dead. Slightly, yeah, more dead. Like, <laughs> super dead. So, Halo dies, and then the Battle Royale becomes the thing that people play. And until another Battle Royale comes out, or there's an update for any of the other battle royales that are out there and then they go back over and it kind of goes into this pool of battle royale um and it'll have some marginal success but it's not going to be what it's not going to be a Fortnite. it's not going to be a call of duty and it's it's not going to be it's shooting for apex basically it it wants apex fame is what it wants exactly exactly it needs Apex fame. <laughs> because, well, uh, actually, it, it needs it needs Warzone fame. If we're going to be on, or it yeah, might even need Fortnite fame. Yeah, from a I need mean, from a need. This ain't well, this, this ain't this ain't it's going to get. This it needs. Yeah. At this it, point, I don't think any of those. Well, it it could possibly have Apex fame depending on how well it gets implemented and how yeah. good of of a battle royale it is. Yeah, because Apex is a good example of like a really good battle royale from like a mechanical standpoint like it's hard to shit on a on apex from a mechanical standpoint but it doesn't have uh, it doesn't have the whatever the fuck x factor that fortnite and warzone have for bringing people back over and over again even if on warzone's front it's the most broken steaming pile of horseshit to have ever been created it doesn't matter yeah. It's like PUBG in its early days. How broken was PUBG? But it didn't matter. People played the fuck out of it like it was literally the last game on Earth for a year and a half straight. And it was so broken. So, like, it needs that X factor. And if there's something that I think, you know, Infinite has shown us thus far is that... And it's not technically 343 making it, but nevertheless, when's the last time a Halo property had the X factor? The game could be good. Like, what were we saying when Infinite came out? The core gameplay... That's good. It was good. Great. It's probably it the carried best, it for it's six like the months. the version of Halo... I mean, it's been a long time since I played Halo 3 or Halo 2, so it's I don't still, really... It's probably the best version of, like, since... Yeah. I don't then. remember how good... Yeah. Like, I remember having a ton of fun, 
But I also ha remember having a ton of fun playing like, I, I don't know, StarCraft 64. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. It's, not, yeah, a, it's not a good time Yeah. Uh, if I were to play it now. But I had fun. <laughs> uh, but Halo, th th this Halo Infinite, in my opinion, from what I can remember, and people can argue uh, they're valid points, but I, I actually think it's the best version of Halo that we might have ever had. I, I, from I agree. From a mechanical standpoint, yeah. from the way the game runs, the fluidity of it, I, I think it's I think it's a very valiant effort. I mean, they yeah. really did create a great Halo. Yeah. It's just Halo isn't great anymore. It's also, just, they it's, needed it's content. Old. Yeah, like, that too. Way faster than they did. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Man. I, I don't... Sure, but you know what? Is, when you look when you look at the Steam numbers, which obviously isn't the Xbox numbers, but when they're down, when they're down to like you know a couple thousand people, that ain't a, that ain't a good that ain't a good look. Uh, and it's really hard to, to to combat that perception in the public eye because it's one of those things that you know people people might understand at a surface level that Steam numbers does not mean does not include platform specific shit. So it doesn't mean that, like, there could be, at any given time on Xbox, there could be 50,000 players. But on Steam side, you're only seeing 3,000 players. But to, to the minds of many gamers that see this type of news pop up, and they see a graph from Steam, and they see player count over time, yeah. Yeah, they, just assume, they just, yeah, they just they assume, just assume that's, that's it. That's, like, the <laughs> totality game. of it. And so yeah. you can't, eat, like, it's really hard to combat that, and... Uh, and yeah, I don't know, man, but the, the, uh, a battle royale, I do, I do sympathize a bit though, because if 343 had come out and done like a campaign and a battle royale and didn't incorporate some level of standard Halo shit, they would have caught just as much fire, uh, for yeah. not doing it. And it's really, really, well, it's basically impossible to try and expect of 343 to do a campaign, a standard uh, you know, a standard Halo multiplayer experience and tack on a battle royale all out the gate. We already saw what they tried to do just to get the shit that they had. Yeah, that was never going to happen in a million years. And now we find out that two years, uh, they've had, uh, the, you know, the certain affinity doing this mode specifically. So, uh, very challenging. I, I think that 20, if it hits in 2023, it's going to have to be fucking incredible because battle royales by that time will have matured to such a degree and maybe even changed. Look at what, look at what, Fortnite's already starting to test the waters with different shit. And Warzone is also, Warzone 2 is coming up, and they'll be testing the waters with new shit. So, depending on what this Battle Royale represents, does this Battle Royale, when we don't know yet, does it represent Battle Royale from 2019? Or does it represent the Battle Royale of the future where we're, we have different mechanics and shit? And based on what we've seen thus far, I bet you it's probably more likely going to be some old shit that they just slapped a halo on the front of to try and get it out the door. But maybe we get proved wrong. We'll see. But either way, I did find it kind of funny that they spent a lot of time saying there would never be a battle royale, uh, and now it appears the lie detector test determined that was a lie. Well, and now here we great, are. As a great musician once sang, Never say never. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I thought you were gonna uh, I couldn't even I wouldn't even imagine what it would have been but I thought you were gonna draw on R. Kelly for a second but then no. really, there's nothing there there's nothing no. there. Uh, how speaking of content in Halo Infinite though quickly Halo Infinite season two game modes were also just announced uh, I think even just today or yesterday uh, and they they're going to include Ninja Slayer Last Spartan Standing which is like would be you know a, coincidentally a very mini version of a battle royale at that point. Uh, Vampire Ball, King of the Hill, uh, that was always one of my favorites, King of the Hill, yeah, at least too. on big maps. Yep. You know, not necessarily small maps, but King of the Hill was awesome. Uh, Land Grab, which I don't know what that is, but it sounds an awful lot like King of the Hill to me. Rumble Pit, which everyone has wanted for a very long time. That's like a core mode from Halo you don't want to remove at this point. Uh, so that's coming back in. Uh, with Team Snipers, Team Doubles, and Team Skirmish all being rotated in throughout the season to some degree is what I have been seeing. So... There you go. That will certainly bring the player count up for a period of time. We'll see what kind of longevity it has. Uh, having a rumble pit will definitely satisfy people for quite some time. Um, what I'll be interested in is are all of these individual uh, playlists that people can, can queue up for, or are they homogenizing lists because the player base isn't enormous and now they don't want to split people up too much? 
uh, which is, we, we talked about this actually a while ago, where, you know, if they waited too long to get the modes that were in Halo Forever into the game, and people weren't satisfied in leaving, well, you've, you had your massive player base in December, January, and into February, and now your player base is just kind of like fucking evaporated, and now you're introducing all these game modes. And for the people that are left, and they just want to play Rumble Pit, well, if, they, if you have a list that's just Rumble Pit, do you end up having enough people to reduce queue times on your other lists? It's a giant catch-22. So we'll see how that all pans out, but there you go. There's your list for Season 2 modes forthcoming.